this morning, prior to the European Council, we signed the political provisions of the association agreement between the European Union and Ukraine. It is a sign of our solidarity with the people of Ukraine, of our support for their aspirations and their thirst for change. We will also continue to strengthen our ties with Georgia and Moldova. And as we decided last night, the signature of their full association agreements has been brought forward to no later than June. The sanctions against Russia that we decided yesterday are taking legal effect this afternoon. But already, as I said last night, even the shadow of sanctions is already showing its impact on Russia's investment climate. And once again, they are not a goal in themselves, but a means to an end towards a negotiated solution in respect of international law. Our energy discussion focused primarily on how to reduce our high energy dependency, particularly relevant, of course, in the context of the situation with Ukraine. By reducing our energy demand with more energy efficiency, by diversifying our supply routes to and within Europe, and expanding energy sources, in particular renewables. So reducing our energy dependency, especially in relation to Russia, was a key topic in our deliberations of this morning. Europe was first built as a community for coal and steel 64 years later, and in new circumstances, it is clear we need to be moving towards an energy union. This morning, we also discussed climate change. As Europe, we need to continue to play our role. Our union is not giving up our ambitions on climate change. This will have a huge impact on our economies, so we were never going to decide everything in one go. But this morning, we mapped out a solid roadmap for the new EU target on greenhouse gas emissions. Our specific 2030 targets will be fully in line with our ambitious long-term objectives for 2050.